Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome. Tonight I'm going to be doing a Postlotheria regalis breeding video. So for those of you who have seen my arboreal breeding videos, you probably know what's about to happen. I'm also going to be showcasing a beautiful tarantula enclosure by Zilla. Let's take a look. This is an updated front opening enclosure made by Zilla. And this has so many fantastic features. Number one, it has the plastic insert on the top. So if you need to maintain humidity, you can just set this on there. If you just want the screen top, you can always take that off. I just watered them. I did have the screen top on. And then, voila, you can open from the top if you like, or from the front. Going to open the lock and let you guys see what's going on from the front here. So I do have my two regalis here in a breeding chamber and I'm going to do what I always do. I've got uh, lots of nice substrate in there, a big barrier as a hide and then what I'm going to do is take the lids off, put both of their enclosures in there which I've already done, take the lids off and allow them to cohabitate. So you'll often see him in her enclosure, she in his but they can get away from each other. So this is a nice way to allow them to slowly get to know each other, be in their own territory, but still have access to each other, similar to the way they would in the wild. Pretty yes. awesome. And by the way, this is a breeding loan owned by he who must not be named. You know who you are. Let's see if you can get a look at the female. So you might notice that she has a fibrous hide in her uh, enclosure rather than a piece of cork, which I often do. So you might notice this white band that separates her abdomen from her thorax. So that is one telltale sign between a fasciata and a regalis. Hopefully you can also see the beautiful yellow banding on the back of her legs, which um, is difficult to see face to face because it's only on the underside of their legs. So let's get this party started. I'm going to put the divider back in here. And so this is a visual barrier between them as well as a physical barrier. What I'm going to do now is take the lids off of both of their enclosures. Now obviously you want to do this with care because there is the very real possibility that you'll suddenly have a, a regalis on your face. They don't tend to run out at you, but it happens. And one lesson I learned was leave the lids in there. It's not going to bother them, and that way you don't lose the lids to your enclosures. So now what I do is I'm going to water them. You want to make sure both of these adults are well fed before you allow them to cohabitate. And then I'm going to simulate a rainy season for um, three to seven days and basically leave them alone. So I don't very often observe the pairing, but I am very successful with uh, my females laying viable egg sacs after this process. And my males are very rarely cannibalized. Um, I'm thinking that my Postlotheria metallica was cannibalized in one circumstance. However, he was at the very, very, very end of his life and basically, he may have offered himself to her, who knows. Uh, his end was coming. So basically, this is all I do. I want to thank Zilla for providing me this fantastic enclosure. I am going to put the plastic insert back on the top to keep the humidity up. And hopefully, we'll be bringing you a Regalis egg sac video soon. For questions about where to get this enclosure, um, Zilla products are sold at all your neighborhood pet stores, and you know they're one of my favorites. I want to thank them again for my new lens and gimbal that I just recently got. You guys are awesome. Keep being amazing. And I want you guys to comment below whether or not you think these animals are going to reproduce. And we'll see you guys next time. You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a Security don't let me in.
falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. 